My nose is like super red right now. Why? I think it matches my pink lips and it matches my shirt. So I guess it's cute. This makes really weird sounds. I need to get that fixed. Ah, okay. Here we go. Uh, still getting used to this. Still getting used to it. I am... What am I saying? <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Fackerlesque. I'm Rachel Fackerl, and today I want to talk about why I started vlogging. So I was thinking about doing an introductory video about who I am, where I came from, all the background stuff, but I realized that as I post more vlogs, you'll kind of figure that out along the way. And also talking about why I started vlogging will kind of give you a lot of insight into who I am. So I thought I might as well kind of like combine them a little bit and then let you figure out more about me as I continue to vlog. So I have three reasons <laughs> why I decided that I wanted to vlog. So first of all, I wanted to document my life for my kids. I write in my journal every single week and I've been doing this since I was about 14 years old. It was a little inconsistent for the first two years, but after that I've been pretty dang consistent and I feel like it's been really good for me because not only am I looking to the future and trying to set that example for my future kids, but I'm also able to see my progress and that is awesome so like i can see where i was when i was 14 16 18 and now and it's just amazing the transitions that i make and the choices that i make and how it molds me um just all the experiences that i had and it's something that i'm glad i did because there's certain things that i never want to forget and i felt like you know what better way to do that than to also vlog i can actually see myself i can see you know my husband my family i also thought with my current family who lives in texas i'm originally from texas they're able to keep up with me and have a more tangible way of uh seeing me and my progress in my life because there's only so much you can say over the phone i thought vlogging will give them um more access to my life if that makes sense so that's the main reason why i'm vlogging right now <laughs> so the second reason i'm vlogging is because i needed a hobby i needed some kind of creative outlet where do i start so my husband was thinking about going to this job and they wanted to have a little interview with him and they told him to invite me his wife so we went to the interview, they talked to us for a little bit, told us about how the company works, how he would be getting money, and then they were saying that by this time you'll be able to have this much money. And Just to give you an idea of what you may get out of this, tell us what dreams or visions you have for your future. Even just fun stuff that you would like to do that you don't have the money for right now. And so Connor starts listing all of this stuff because he has like so many different kinds of hobbies he likes to rock climb he likes to drive nice cars he likes to go four-wheeling he likes to drive the razor you can tell that a lot of that has to do with just being outside and driving cool things but like even like paintballing like he had all this stuff that he liked to do the guy interviewing us was like what do you like to do and i was like i don't know and connor turned to me he's like well, wouldn't you like a really nice library? And I was like, well, yeah, I do. I love to read. I would love to have a library, but... And I felt bad because I couldn't... I literally could not think of anything else. I was like, well, I'm a boring person. Like, I've been spending my college life with just college and reading. A majority of college is reading. I mean, it's also a stressor on me. So I decided that I needed to find something else. And last semester I tried dancing again because I danced in high school, but it still, it wasn't the same as it was in high school. And I was like, well, that's not going to be my thing. That's not going to be my creative outlet. That's not going to be my hobby. I need to find something else. And so finally, when I stumbled across vlogging as something, as a possibility of something I could do, I could really picture myself doing it. I was like, you know what? That looks fun. That's something I like to do and I can see value in it. My third reason is because it motivates me to look for greater opportunities. For example, like just recently, as most of you know, I just got back from New York. Super awesome trip. After that trip, I realized, man, I want to travel even more. And I have traveled a lot since getting married, but 
now I'm thinking any traveling opportunity that I have, I'm gonna take advantage of it and I'm gonna document it. I'm gonna vlog the whole thing and it's gonna be amazing. Just recently, my husband was talking to some friends of ours and I was there too. And we were talking about how we could possibly go to Europe together sometime. Long story short, we decided that the summer might be a great opportunity to go to Europe. <laughs> Specifically London, Poland, and Germany. I know, super random, super last minute, but we got the ticket. And usually it would take me a lot like a lot longer to decide like should we really do that? But of course I want to do it Not only have I grown a greater passion for traveling now I have a way I can document it and always remember it because I felt like my New York vlog I was able to look back on and be like man, that's just as magical as I remembered it to be like it's just amazing I love looking back at memories like that and having it recorded. That's my last reason why I decided to vlog. And of course, there's many other reasons why vlogging is awesome, but it's not for everyone. I totally understand that, but for me, it's great. And so far, I've been loving it. I know this is only my second vlog, but life is great and why not record it? Why not vlog it? <laughs> and I hope that my viewers really enjoy it. And I know I only have a few right now, <laughs> but I am gonna to try to make it grow. And I know a lot of people are thinking, well, one of your reasons might be just to get money from YouTube. And the reality of that is I'm not even able to start getting money until I get a thousand subscribers. <laughs> Oh man, I have like 15 right now. And after that you start getting paid, but it's like very little. And so that is not my priority in vlogging. So I hope you guys were able to get something out of this. We're able to have a better understanding of why I'm vlogging and maybe motivate you to vlog yourself. And I hope that you stick around, like and subscribe to my channel. And I would absolutely love for you to be here for the remainder of this crazy ride of my Fakralesque life. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!